So, willkommen zurück bei Red Dead Redemption 2. Wir haben Jack wiedergefunden. Wir haben ihn gerettet. So, und jetzt sollen wir Dodge wollen. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. <laughs> Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Oh, man. Oh! Look Come out! on! Stop riding like a damn fool! You had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well... The man's an intolerable <laughs> blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. God damn it! You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun. And left with a party invitation. <laughs> so, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch Arthur, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I got my son back. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so, well... We met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do well, as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Silber, okay. Was hatten wir für Gold? Sil ah, ja, wir haben Kopfschüsse, ist klar, und wir waren zu langsam, okay. Se alegra el cielito lindo, lo más 
corazón. Ese lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Ese lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Cuando se alegran, cielito lindo, los corazones. Ay, 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 ay. Canta y no llores, porque cantando se alegran, cielito lindo, los Sehr, sehr schön. Okay. Let's give this boy a bit of space. See you later. Good to have you back, Jackie. We missed you. Welcome back, Jack. Thanks. Ach ja. Wo ist denn unser Zimmer? O oben oder? Ne, hier unten, ne? Aber doch oben? Ich kann, kann ich hier hinsetzen? Was, was? Oh, okay. Da wo der... Nee, hä? Wartet mal. Bin ich jetzt... Ach so, hier hinten. Hier rein. Ja, genau. Wow. Hier ein kaputtes Fenster, sehr gut. mal wieder auffüllen hier. Okay. Wo können wir uns rasieren? Da ist der Hund. Okay, schade. Sind die Fotos, die wir vom Fotograf haben, sind hier nicht bei. Können wir schlafen? Können wir auch mal machen? Bis schlafen wir einfach bis mittags. Nur so viel dazu. Da schon gerade rasieren. Warte mal. Hier. So, erstmal rasieren. Gut. Das warte schon wieder zu lang. wächst ja so schnell nach. Schlafen und bis mit... Hallo? Ah, jetzt geht's, okay.
Sehr schön. Hier liegt ein Zettel. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. Mm. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in Saint Denis. Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Eine Bonus-Banküberfall-Mission. Ist das Jack? Ja, hey. Wie geht's denn? You settling back in? I like it here. Lots of places to explore. Well, don't explore too far. Too much again. Wir haben ein eigenes Haus, das ist cool. So, oh. Gut. Dann. Was haben wir denn hier jetzt gerade alles? Dünger Pferd. Da ist sie. Banküberfall könnten wir machen. Da haben wir was. Hier haben wir Kopfgeld. Was hat denn der Herr Strauß schon wieder? Wo ist er denn? Hat er sich in eine Hütte hingezimmert? Wo ist denn der Herr Strauß? Ach, da steht... Toll, jetzt komme ich da nicht hoch. So, Herr Strauß, was ist denn los? Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. Oh. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but uh, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <laughs> This is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algie Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. We're a union built on that, you know. Yeah. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Na, ja, wo ist er? Okay, scheint noch nicht aktualisiert zu sein. Aber ich kann mich so... Ah, jetzt. So, erstmal... Klappt das? Kommt das Pferd hier hin? Könnte ich einfach da hinten rausreiten. Ah, 
nicht so gehen, okay. Oh, wir bräuchten mal wieder was zu essen hier hin. Müssen wir mal wieder was mitbringen. Ja, okay, das Feld kommt so nicht durch Lager. Ja, es hängt hier fest. Hallo? Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Reverend. Do you think the Pinkertons are finally gonna kill us? Pero que hace? Perhaps. I'm so worried. Ah! Jetzt haut das Pferd ab. Oh, der Hund ist auch mitgekommen. Wo willst du hin? Auf. auf geht's. Das sollten wir noch hinkriegen, hoffe ich. Wenn der Weg jetzt nicht allzu weit ist. Schauen wir mal. Ups, wir haben Huhn getroffen. Naja, Pech gehabt. Wieso? Wieso hat er den denn jetzt nicht vernünftig getroffen? Wieso? Unglaublich. Und vor allem, wieso fährt die Kutsche weiter, nachdem wir den Fahrer abgeknallt haben? Dass sie weiterfährt, schön und gut. Na, dafür sind wir jetzt direkt da, oder wie? Ja. Na, schauen wir mal. Ist hier keiner? Hallo. Ah, hier unten. Da ist er. Hey! You better have a damn good reason for being on my property, mister. Ja. Remember that loan you took, Mr. Davison? Well, time's long since up. I'm here to collect. Oh, I should have known. You goddamn bludgeon men are all the same. Sure, I'm sure I got your money. Every stinking cent. It's in the house. Hell, I'll even offer you a drink. 
we can toast to never laying eyes on each other again. Kannst alleine trinken. I got a powerful thirst on me right now. How about you? Well, you got to be stinking drunk already to do this kind of work. Uh, I like doing it sober. If you take my money, surely you take a drink off me as well. That would be the manly thing to do. Let's just handle the money first. Worry about manners later, okay? I could be fishing. You were catching flies, you weren't catching fish. Now come on, let's get us that debt. You back so soon, Paul? Someone's here, boy. Paul, wait, what's going on? Don't just stand there, go fix us a drink. Another one, Paul? Don't give me no talk, boy, just do it. I'll look down here for our savings. Savings? Under the sink? Best place for them. Mm. Now where's them drinks, boy? Drinks ready. It's right there, mister. It's our life savings. Come and take what you owe. Come take it. It's right here. Wir haben ja auch ein Messer, du Arsch. Nettes Gewehr. Wo ist der Junge jetzt hin? Paul, was hast du gemacht? Was hast du gemacht? Was ist da unten? Komm mal raus. Son, ich will hier raus, aber ich kann nicht, bis ich ein bisschen Geld finde. Da ist etwas in meinem Fußlocker. Ich kann... I've been keeping it away from him. Ain't that lucky? <sighs> I think I know the sum, and that should cover it. Ain't you the good son? You should be proud of yourself. Ach komm, hauen wir ab. Okay, boy. So. Dann könnten wir ja jetzt eigentlich schon mal uns auf den Weg dahin machen. Ob wir da heute nur ankommen, hm. schauen wir mal, auf jeden Fall können wir dann im nächsten Part da direkt loslegen. Wollte uns der Typ eiskalt mit dem Messer erstechen, also, tja, blöd, dass er nicht richtig getroffen hat, ja? Also blöd für ihn. Abkürzen. Nein, das machen wir jetzt nicht. Und sterbe ich nur wieder.
Habe ich jetzt keine Lust zu. <lacht> ja, du brauchst Hilfe, wir sind doch schon unterwegs. Okay, das wollte ich gar nicht. Wollte den Hut. Mein Hut, so. Und jetzt müssen wir die... Na ja, komm schon. Ihn aufheben. So. Versenken wir auch hier. There's some money I put away in the sack there. It ain't enough, but please take it. Okay. Appreciate it. Good luck to you. Boy. Oh man, okay. Ja, ja, ja. Ja, 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 da war ein Krokodil, ich hab's gesehen. Entspann dich. Haben wir noch eine gute Tat vollbracht? Ist doch was. Na gut. So, ich würde sagen, wir reiten noch bis in die Stadt.
So, da vorne sind wir dann gleich da. Ja, es fährt fast keine Ausnahme mehr, was soll es jetzt noch schaffen? Okay. Arthur. Ach Mist. Arthur. Up here. You came. Yeah. I came. So, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. <lacht> ah, na gut. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Oh, Arthur. What's, What's wrong? Lewis? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I, I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, <laughs> but but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter. And wanting better for her than, than than me, than the choices you What make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know, you had to live by your code, but your code is, well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you and Jamie joining a bunch of crazies, and hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you, begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. I, it all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Not schön. Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur, you know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. No, oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... Jetzt willst du aber was. I don't know. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too. This is the place. Na gut, dann machen wir ein paar Tage länger, weil ich kann jetzt in der Mission eh wieder speichern. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. 
You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. And make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. You've never been so to me in my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my own wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired. And I have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, we're going to have to hold This way. He went around the corner. Ja, ich hab's gesehen. Da ist er. Oh Mann, ey. Hold on. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. Come here, huh. quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. So besoffen wie der ist bestimmt nicht. I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! Oh, man. He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh. He'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. <sighs> He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. There's up. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Wo will der hin? What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not I've his to sell. No, it's like just a Mr. brooch. Gillis. At least he didn't get himself Come killed. You don't understand. Nice mother enough. left it to me. You, you sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! 
Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You probably killed someone. Hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there. God damn it. Hey, stop that coach. Wo ist denn das unser Pferd jetzt schon wieder? Komm schon. Ey, welch Pfeife hast du zu kommen, du blödes Vieh? Jetzt rennt das von uns weg. Meine Güte, wieso ist denn das jetzt so schon neblig? Oh, das wird, der Part wird, kriegt deutlich Überlänge, aber... Ich kann halt in der Mission nicht speichern, das ist das Problem. Anhalten. Soll ich drauf schießen oder was? Nein. Auf den Achso, das ist noch einer drin. Meine Güte, durch diesen Nebel hier sieht man fast gar nichts. Hier sieht man fast nichts. This is insane. Get out of there. Hosta. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say fifty. Too few. Not good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus. Twenty-five dollars. That's my final offer. Good. Here. Yeah. Take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Oh, man. I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. Why don't you take a walk? I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey. What 
What are you doing now? Right this moment. Why, Jess? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh. Okay. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? <laughs> It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the <laughs> normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but... <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well... That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> Lamb. Well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> sort of beautiful, in a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. <clears throat> You silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. for that thunderous applause. I am Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint-Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality just as a proprietor or not. Are you in of a the rush, greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare! For the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire, snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly Stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky! That's pretty good. I told you this be fun.
French, but can't you see? I'd rather live in San Dani. Yes, I'd rather live in San Dani. So draw your money, come see your honey in old San Dani. Bravo! That girl can sing. Net? Also. Ja, dass man hier bei ihr nicht auch mal einen Annäherungsversuch machen kann, aber... Jetzt... Hä? Oh, flawless! Perfekt! Da ist er schon wieder. Ich sehe, du liebst ihre dulcet Tones, right? Ja, sie ist pure Spektakel und ich erinnere dich, sie kann charm any beast, any beast at all, von Cockroach zu Killer Whale. Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women. You are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanserino. Stop it. <laughs> wow. Also auch dieser Aufführung werden wir das Theater dann aber auch verlassen. Ähm Ich könnte mir vorstellen, dass man das, ich weiß nicht wie lange, aber hätte auch zwei Parts noch machen können, aber ich lasse das so, ich schneide den nicht noch extra. Schade, dass man hier keinen kein zweiten Annäherungsversuch machen kann, das ist schade. Aber guck mal jetzt, wie sie mit wie sie da ein bisschen tanzt. Äh, gar nichts machen, okay. Jetzt. Sieht ja auf jeden Fall nicht schlecht aus, oder? Weg ist es. War es das? Oh, kommt noch was. Enchanting, mesmerizing. She is truly one to bring home to mother. It is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I 
have been there. Prepare for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur in okay. Paris. It's Gage. Hey, come on, let's get out of here. Oh, okay. Sure, if you want. Reckon we've seen the best of it. <sighs> That's <fine. laughs> All right, you better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but shame we couldn't stay longer. Sorry. <laughs> ja, man hätte es noch länger machen können, aber. <sighs> My life wasn't supposed to. Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? Yeah. I can't lie to you. Man, Mary, if I, if anyone close to me, well, they wanted to, and I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything, I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur. If we're going to run away anywhere, we'd need money. And soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money. I had some. But then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Yeah. Wow, okay. So, ich, ja, Silber, wahrscheinlich hätten wir echt das, uns das ganze Theater anschauen müssen, ne? Nee. Erwische und bring den Wagen innerhalb von 1 Minute 45 Sekunden zu der Ab... Na naja, okay. Aber ein Theater, das haben wir gemacht. Gut, Freunde, dann würde ich sagen, das war's für heute. Ja, mal etwas länger als normal, aber macht ja nichts. Ich hoffe, ihr seid beim nächsten Mal wieder mit dabei. Ich sage erstmal bis dahin und ciao.